The Genshin Impact version 5.2 special live stream happened this last Friday, and today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of what happened during this live stream. Now, personally, I think that this was one of their better live streams as of recently. Doesn't mean that it was like the greatest live stream, but I will say that it was a lot better than the previous ones that we've had, you know, in the last couple patches, to be honest. But that's just personally for me. But before we get into the nitty gritty of it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out, you know, gamer subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off, y'all. This hat right here, the bloodsucker hat, pretty pristine, baby. I'm just saying. And then, of course, there's also the bloodsucker coasters that we just got. Now, of course, these are sold out items, but we do have Cupathon happening this week with also Shy Lily getting a new drop. So make sure to tune into that Friday because it's going to be awesome. Now, let's go ahead and dive into today's festivities. Now, again, this is the version 5.2 special live stream. And it, honestly, it was a pretty dang good live stream overall. So first things first, let's talk about these banners. This image is terrible, by the way. Though I don't know who made this image as bad as it was. But new units are going to be Chaska, who is going to be a Animo bow user, and Auroron, who is a four-star uh, Electro bow user. So... Watch out, Fischl. He's coming for you. Now, phase one is going to be Chaska alongside a rerun of Lenny, and Auroron will be a part of those banners. I think that this is a good one to make people really want to summon for Chaska. I know that some people will probably argue that Lenny is the second best pyro uh, DPS out there. I disagree. I think that he has a lot of potential to be the best one when it comes to output, but I feel like it's very, very... It's more technical, so... Um, when it comes to usability and all that stuff, I think that Arle Arlequino, uh, Hu Tao, and Yoimiya are a lot easier and better to use. And Lenny is, while good, very technical. So, But Lenny's still a really, really good unit in general and a good pyro DPS. So, yeah, pretty good rerun. But the 5.2, why is this image so much better than the above one? That's crazy. Uh, the phase two banners are what I really want to talk about because this is actually a pretty insane set of banners. You got Zhongli, who is a Geo Polearm user, and you have Nouvellet, who is a Hydro Catalyst user. Now, Zhongli is basically the best shielder in the game. And you have Nouvellet, who is the, for me personally, my pick to be the best DPS in the game. So... This is an insane phase two banner. And for people who are saving their primos for like really, really good characters, this is it. Phase two is definitely going to be the banner that you, or the set of banners that you want to look into. I do think Chaska has a lot of good usability. Her exploration uh, skill or the new stuff that happens with that land is that she flies on her gut. Nothing more American than that, right? Merc. And then Auroron uh, is a really cool four star the first four star bow user to be able to shoot down from like the sky so i think that's pretty dope and then you have lenny who's a really really good pyro dps but if you're looking at any of the banners that like just right now without the four stars outside of aurora if i had to choose which phase has got the better banners it's phase two without a doubt so really really good we're getting the chaska story quest which is you know pretty standard for most five star units so cool that we're gonna be getting that dude this art is so hot of her dude god damn that splash art is so good we're getting an update for archon quest the interlude of archon quest chapter five um so basically this is just after all the war happens and we finally like push them back a little bit we're gonna find out some details uh in regards to i guess our opposition the abyss um and yeah pretty stoked on that now we do have the world quests that are happening because there's going to be three new areas coming out. Uh, there's going to be the um, one area for uh, Chaska's tribe. There's going to be the other area for Auroron and Satali's tribe or tribe, tribe, tribe. And then there's going to be uh, another area outside of that, which is going to be where these world quests come in. So three new areas to really get 100% you know, exploration, right? Sorry, my mouth's a little bit dry right now. My blah, blah, blah. 
speaking of those tribes right we get two new uh saurians we got the kukasaur which is basically the one from chaska's tribe that you can fly in and you got the iktomisaur which the iktomisaur is basically going to like go straight up and then you could kind of like float down and stuff like it's it's cool i think that to for me personally maybe i'm just crazy but if i'm gonna use anything i'd use a cuckoo over the two but there's gonna be puzzles that pertain to both of these uh creatures so be ready for that now this is what we talked about the new air er or the new area that's coming out um it's the the new area includes the borders occupied by the flower feather clan as well as aurorans and satali's tribe masters of the night wind in addition the okan okanatland also gets introduced in 5.2 which is basically like og natland this is one of the things I was actually super excited about. This boss, like this is just a regular like boss, like, you know, like the Regis finds and stuff, but the design and the actual gameplay of this one is so unique and cool. I love it. The Tenebris Poplia, which basically this guy can turn into any enemy. I think that's within its chart uh is the best way i could say it so i saw it become just a regular ruin guard and i saw it become magu genki which is pretty insane but i love this i think this is really freaking cool i can't wait to fight this boss personally we got a couple new weapons we got a couple new weapons coming in version 5.2 obviously we got a five star weapon for chaska but here are the new four star weapons these two are going to be summonable ones uh the flower wreath uh feathers hmm Excuse me, it's nighttime for me. Um, but the fire wreath feathers, which is a new bow, and then the wave riding world catalyst. And of course, we're also getting Calamity of Ishu, which the Calamity of Ishu is going to be a brand new event sword that's uh, coming to, you know, get an impact in one of the new events. And I like the design of this, but the design of the uh, uh, like level five one basically is all purple and it looks really freaking sick so for me like i'm really excited to be able to max that guy out now we got the iktomi spirit seeking scrolls which is the main event where you're going to be getting this calamity of issue um and it's got a couple of events in it from what it seems like it's going to be the overarching event in general um but yeah it's it's got a bunch of stuff on it good rewards at the very least but it's it's basically part of the same blueprint that um Genshin impact's been known for these last couple patches uh adventurous trials metamorphosis is coming back i think i think this is one that's coming back um i was kind of like meh whatever uh exercising surging storm this is basically the pokemon event um but it's more like almost like team fight tactics from what i saw um but yeah that event's coming back uh claw convoy which is the event where you get to see through you get to see through the animal's eyes i think that's pretty okay like it's it's a free event you just gotta look you gotta look through the animal's eyes and find them right uh ley line overflow is coming back but we didn't what i was surprised at is that we didn't get the free ten pull. i thought they would do that um but yeah outside of that like i had a whole bunch of different optimizations and went through the optimizations through the dev notes and that's why I think 5.2 is going to be a really, really good patch in general. Um, however, uh, let's let's find a let's, let's just go right here. <laughs> however, I don't want it to get twisted to think like, okay, Genshin's back, baby. Like it's the best gotcha out there. And, and even with me being like a Hoyo creator, um, I'm gonna be honest. Like as good as this patch was compared to the other ones, there's still a lot of ground to cover. Uh, the Treasure Compass update is going to be fantastic for me. There's going to be some stuff for Imaginary and Theater, uh, your your uh, artifacts, all that good stuff. So I'm pretty excited for that. But with the last time we had a major like update for optimizations and stuff, uh, we got the whole like artifact chooser thingamadoodlebob. And to be honest, I hate it. I think it's dumb. I think that there's no reasonable it's not a reasonable time frame and it's not reasonable how you get it the materials for it um so for me i have my gripes about that however i do think again there is some positivity coming from this banner chaska looks like she's gonna be a lot of fun aurora looks like he's gonna be a lot of fun 
great reruns in Lenny, Zhongli, and Nouvellet. The quests look good, the areas look good, the new boss looks good. Ooh. I'm just very tired. I might not record the rest of the videos that I got because I'm very, very tired today. I might just do it tomorrow. But I will say this. this. This overall patch looks like it's going to be decent. So if you're against an impact player and you want to know what I think about this patch, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good. But don't hold it to that statement. Like, I guess the best way I can put it. Because it could be like rose tinted glasses. I think you should play it for yourself, see if you like it, and then if there's stuff you don't like about it, take these surveys seriously. We have we have surveys for a reason in game. Put your concerns out there, especially with competition out there. Competition makes every game better. We have to show them what we want in these games. I think we're starting to finally see a little bit of that. Now again, I don't think that that's like, oh yeah, they're starting to do it, now we're good. No, no. Nana! We gotta make sure that everything's crispy now. So, but yes, overall 5.2 seems good. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the 5.2 special live stream. I do apologize for being tired, y'all. Try not to be tired all the time. Get old, getting old, man. And I also ate some food before this, so I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's gonna be it. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.